Okay, so probably the main reason for all these videos, uh, besides deriving the, um, the many equations and principles of special relativity, is to derive this equation over here, E equals mc squared. Ever since I really got into physics, um, I've always wanted to know where this formula came about, what it means, and um, really how it was derived. Um, and I looked up many, since I started studying special relativity, I looked up many derivations, and I couldn't find any really good ones that, uh, or I, I, could, oh, I found a lot of good ones, I just, all of them had formulas in it that I hadn't seen before, didn't know where they came from, whatever, so the point of these videos was really to get to this point where I can derive this formula, starting from uh, basic geometry and basic physics and basic algebra, as you've seen throughout my videos, to get to this point. And the main, uh, the main thing that we need to get to, to derive e equals mc squared, is this equation up here, where we have momentum, mv, equals m naught v over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. That was the main thing we need to get to. This is momentum. And the relationship between energy and momentum will give us this equation right here. So let's start with talking about the relationship between energy and momentum, okay? Let's look at kinetic energy, okay? We know that kinetic energy is the work that it takes to accelerate a body of mass m uh, from one velocity to another velocity. And that can be represented as we know one half m v f minus v i squared or just simply one half m v squared if the body is uh, starting at rest, okay? So, someone didn't just wake up one day and go, I think I know how we're going to describe kinetic energy. Let's do the mass times the velocity squared divided by 2. That's not where it came about. It came about from the formulas for kinetic energy, okay? So kinetic energy, alright, equals. Normally, um, since, since this is work, okay, uh, kinetic energy is the amount of work that it takes to move a body of mass m uh, from one velocity to another velocity. Um, <clears throat> let's look at work. So in basic, basic physics, we know that work is force times distance, and distance will be represented as x, okay? However, um, this uh, uh, this isn't simply the case over here because uh, in in I mean in the actual world because what happens if force is say a function of position or velocity or anything then we can't simply use this because they could be changing variables could be different so um, we have to actually use calculus uh, to figure this out um, and now uh, I know I've been using basic mathematics to get all the way to here. But this is really sort of where that stops. I'm going to have to use calculus to derive e equals mc squared. And I'm sorry if, um, if you don't know basic calculus. I'm just going to presume that you, that you do know it um, as I continue with this. But if you don't, I'm probably going to put up some other videos that explain uh, basic calculus and will allow you to understand this uh, derivation. Um, if not, uh, and so we'll just go and, and see if those videos are up on my channel. Uh, and if not, then I apologize, but I'm just going to continue from here, assuming that you know basic calculus. So we know that work equaled uh, the multiplication of force times distance, but if variables are changing, then we're going to have to represent it as an integral of force with respect to distance. But it's going to be a, um, a definite integral, because we go from uh, one velocity to another velocity, okay? But now let's look at these variables a little bit more. We know that force over here, well, let's write it over here. Force equals um, mass times acceleration, right? Which is also represented as mass times um, dv over dt, right? Um, which is mass times acceleration. Um, so, so yeah, so we have force equals mass times acceleration. Another way of writing this is 
like this. Um, we know that mass times acceleration can be represented as mass times um, x over t squared, so it's distance over time squared, alright? We can also write this as m x over t over t, right? Which is m v over t, right? Which in short is momentum over time. Force can also be represented as in a fraction, momentum over time, and when we're talking about uh, calculus, uh, force is the rate of change of momentum with respect to time. We can write force in this case as the rate of change, so the derivative of momentum with respect to time. It's another way we can look at force. All right. And now, if we plug that into the equation over here, we get kinetic energy equals the integral from a to b of dmv over dt times dx, alright? We can rewrite this, so keep this in your mind, dmv over dt, as dx over dt times dmv. And we know for base calculus that dx dt is velocity. So this equals the integral from A to B of V with respect to momentum. The integral of velocity with respect to momentum. Okay? And now if we want to solve this, we're going to have to use um, integration by parts. Which basically says in short that the integral of um, U dV equals U times V minus the integral of V du, okay? Um, I might put this up if you don't understand, if you don't know how to use integration by parts. I'm probably also going to put up a video that explains that, but in the meantime, I'm just going to assume that you do, and let's do the integral. So let's uh, let's ignore the uh, the uh, uh, definite part of it now. We're just going to put from a to b over here, and just do the integration or the anti-differentiation. Okay. So it's the integral of v d m v, okay? And we get that should equal v times m v minus the integral of m v d v, which equals m v squared minus m times the integral of v d v which equals m v squared minus one half m v squared, okay? And we know that one m v squared minus one half m v squared will just give you one half m v squared. And if we do this from um, in a in a, uh, in a definite sense from something to something else. The only variable that's going to change in this case is velocity, so it has to be from VA to VB, um, or VF and VI, and we get one half M VF minus VI squared, or in the case where uh, VI is zero, we just get this equation over here, one half MV squared. And that's how they derive the equation for kinetic energy. Um, now, in order to derive the equation for e equals mc squared, we're going to use the same principle um, in my next video, except apply relativistic momentum to uh, this integral over here, and we will get a different result. Thank you very much.